Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Uh, today we're going to work with this uh, an interesting effect. It has some colors in it. it, it uh, it's some nice effect. I saw this uh, somewhere on the internet. I didn't saw apply it on, on texts. I saw it applied on different abstract forms. So accidentally I got this effect because I was doing something else. Basically I was doing this. And this came out, so I'm gonna show you. Basically, you also can do these, so I'm gonna show you also that. But first, let me go put this there and uh, press the T or go here, select the type tool. Also, I'm on yellow. I'm gonna go to the black, click OK, press. I'm gonna rename Panther. I chose the Oswald typeface, it's for free, you can download it, search it on the Google, Google will tell you where it is. And it's on, click on the character, and it's on minus 100 between the letters. So as you can see, if I go down, it's gonna add more and more distance. I wanna be on minus 100, so basically this, this typography is gonna look better on minus 100. Go to object, click on expand, click OK. Now it's expanded, you can't basically edit it. I also gonna unite this just in case. I'm gonna go to Pathfinder, click on unite. If you don't have Pathfinder, go to the Windows, select Pathfinder. It's right, look at it right here. Good. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and then drag this. Also press Shift. So this way you created a new copy. We're gonna need the CMYK color codes. Right now I don't have it here, but I have it here. Main idea, you know the what's what colors are used in printing. The CMYK. In case you didn't know, I'm also gonna share with you the. Where the hell is that? Come on, it's gotta be somewhere. Anyways, it's here. CMYK. So this is the color code FF00FF for magenta. FFFF00 for the yellow and then let's check it out 00FFFFF. Super simple basic print colors. I'm gonna copy the color. Of course select this. This is the eyedropper tool or you just I don't even know why I'm co copying like this. Also, I'm gonna press Control Shift plus left bracket. So as you can see, uh, the cyan is moved in the back of the letter. Or you also can go right click and uh, what is this? Arrange and send to back. And it's going to send it to the back. So yeah. I think so, how it was arranged, let me check it out. So this was the yellow, top is the yellow. Let me see the second one, yes, good, good, good. And the third is going to be the, I'm gonna put it right back. So make sure this also is arranged, sent to back because the magenta is going to be all the way in the back. I'm gonna re recolor it like this. We're gonna still need to arrange this somehow, so you click on this horizontal distribution center. So as you can see, everything is centralized. Gonna go to uh, to the opacity, uh, transparency. If you don't have the transparency, go to the windows and select the transparency. So right down to here where I am. Go to the normal and let's change it to multiply. And as you can see, it just changed it. I'm gonna put less. Uh, space in between also still need to adjust the colors in order to achieve the same exact stuff so let me check if i move wait which one is that if i move the top no if i move the bottom see the here is going to be the this color effect so this is uh goes here and this goes in back so I basically need to change this, go here and this here, no, here, there you go. That's it. 
It's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky. I gotta admit that, but uh, it's gonna work out. So let me add some distance. There you go. We got the effects. I don't even know how I did that. How I did this. So this is the yellow. Let me check. So um, the top one is the cyan. Then the yellow is the second one and the yellow basically goes all the way out you know and then we got the third one is the cyan which is on the top you know my god it's complicated but i hope you understood what i'm doing because i don't even understand what i did but this is how i did it and it looks pretty cool i like it it has some green in it and you always can push this effect to the next level into some ab abstract forms. I think after this tutorial, I'm gonna do some abstract stuff and see what's going on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Also check out the other videos as well and have a good one. Bye-bye.